Okay, so now once you've got your trim installed, you're probably going to want to install your insert. Uh, the insert sold separately. It was original from Volkswagen, and it just kind of covers the center and the screws of your molding. This one's black, but depending on your color combination of your bus, it's going to be a different color, and you can order whatever color you need. So it's a half moon shape. We're going to use a wedge tool, which is basically a hard plastic screwdriver, some soap, and a razor blade. So this is soap and water. First thing we're going to do, just soap up the molding like so. I've already pre-cut this to match the angle there. I'm going to start in the middle here just so you can see it, get a close-up shot of that. And I've tucked the bottom edge under the bottom edge of the molding. And then I'm going to take the plastic screwdriver, plastic wedge, plastic piece, and force it down. Once I've forced it down, underneath it wants to stay, and I'm going to try and get about an inch, inch and a half of it going. So there it is. I've got about an inch of it done. I'm going to insert the edge of my tool right alongside the hook of the molding using my bottom finger or your thumb to hold and support that plastic piece to go into that bottom edge. So here we go. I'm going to pull. Like that. Now that I've got it in, I would cut it. But since this is the front door, I'm actually going to install it here under the hinge, right here. But I wanted to show you how to get it started and what to do. I'm now going to pull the strip out, put it in there, and do a run of the whole molding here. Pull it out. I'm going to soap it up again. Soap it up. Tuck it in. So now that we've got the first 10 inches done, we'll just keep going. To finish it, I'm going to come around this side and push that way. So now that I've got the insert in, I'm going to just take a razor blade and cut it. So now that it's cut, it needs a little end cap, which I'll show you how to do now. Okay, so the end cap. The end cap comes uh, with a little thin plastic coating. You can just peel that off. And it's got these holes on the ends. Take your finger and pull the rubber out. You tighten that screw there earlier. So get a screwdriver, take it out. Slide the end cap in, like so. Take your screw, put it back in. Like that. Now we have to tuck that back in the same way. Then, when you have your end cap in, for these doors, just bend them to shape, like so. You can use your finger or your plastic tool to make them conform to the edge of the molding, like that.